Well, big thumbs up. We're marking day three of Environment Canada's extreme cold weather warning. It was issued at one o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday, January the 2nd. It's a great way to embark on the new year, a new month, and a new week. And we've had nothing but sunshine, light snow under clear skies, and ice crystals, and frigid cold record-setting wind chills. I don't know if they're record-setting or not. I know that ambient temperatures are record-setting. Nonetheless, we're going to answer one question. Why is it so cold? Why is it so windy? Well, to answer that, it's a two-part series, very quickly. Number one, two ridges of high pressure stateside and one right close to the Ontario-Manitoba border. A couple of days ago, these two highs were further up north over the west coast of Hudson Bay and over Churchill, Manitoba. The responsibility that these two high pressures are supposed to do is give us a clear skies, fair skies at worst, high, thin, wispy cirrus clouds, maybe some fair weather cumulus clouds as well, in the winter time along with some ice crystals and it's supposed to bring the temperatures below seasonal or cold minus 20 to minus 35 for highs and lows without the wind number two we have this big powerful eastern storm known as the nor'easter spinning backwards widespread backward spin right over the maritime provinces and the u.s northeast seaboard due to the fact that there's an extensive drop in the up, uh, the upper atmospheric air pressure known as the barometer 50 millibars in 12 hours, known as the weather bomb. The backward spin from this big nor'easter is causing the winds to come out of the northwest about 30, 40 kilometers an hour, stretching from the heart of the low near the Maritime Provinces, Labrador, to as far back as Lake Superior. And that's why there's been a two to three day repeat trend of a jet stream or strong northwesterly winds coming out of the Arctic Circle right through to most of Ontario with our very cold wind chills. A new segment is coming up next after this. So this is the on-camera version of my top three weather conditions as well as historical weather instead of templates with the wonderful cool, cool music that I usually use. Something different for a change. Today's top three conditions, the temperature reading, 5 o'clock this morning was the low reported at minus 32 degrees Celsius, daytime high above minus 30, by 4 o'clock today our temperature managed to warm up to minus 27 degrees Celsius, these two together are about 10 degrees below normal for this time of the year. Despite the fair skies, we did see some ice crystals throughout Timmins Capiscasing and throughout parts of northeast Ontario. Capiscasing did report some blowing snow for a few hours in the afternoon as a result of the winds gusting to about 40 plus kilometers an hour right across much of northeast Ontario. The cool stuff, this is the historical weather. Back in 2007, Timmins, believe it or not, did reach 4.4 Celsius, that's on the plus side. By contrast, in 1972, the temperature reading there was almost minus 38 degrees Celsius. Way back when, in 1946, if you thought 4.4 was warm for Timmins, well, Capus Gason beat us with 5 degrees, 42 Fahrenheit. But in 1942, look at that, almost minus 41 chilly degrees for the Capus Gason area. And something happened way back in 1997. There was probably some kind of intense snowstorm over northeast Ontario because Timmins and Capus Gason together shared an average of about 17 centimeters of snow. Thanks for tuning in to my report for today. Keep warm and we'll talk to you another time.